Oh, hello folks. Well, I finally did it. I went ahead and bought a Celestron Edge HD 8. I ordered it in January and I'm still waiting for it. But uh, that allowed me time to buy some other stuff that you're gonna need uh, whenever you buy a brand new telescope. So I'm gonna go over what I purchased for the support uh, for my new telescope. Anyways, I'm Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Okay, so if you're new to astrophotography, when you buy a telescope, you ain't done. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of other stuff that you gotta get. So that's what I'm gonna go through right now when I go through all the stuff I bought and where I got it from, and then I'm gonna try to connect it all up to see if it works. It's really important to do that. So I ordered this telescope, these Bob's knobs, I ordered a T adapter, I ordered a focal reducer, the 0.7 focal reducer, and a dew strap and dew shield from High Point. I've had very good luck with High Point over the years, and I've contacted them, and they, they called me right back and gave me great advice. They don't call you back right away these days. I used to call up uh, a couple years ago. I used to call up and got a hold of somebody, but um, it's ballooned out so much. But they, they get back to you pretty quickly or with email. The other thing I ordered with... Uh, from High Point was this thing. This is the Pexus Pocket Power Box. Now I'm, I, I'm making a totally new setup for this thing. So it's gonna be independent of my other setups. So I don't have to break that one down at all. I can keep this one going and, and start fresh because it's totally different systems. Now I believe in spreading the wealth around as it were. So I ordered stuff from other companies. That's why I received some of my stuff. And, and like I said, the telescope is is still on back order or whatever. I don't know. It's been with that. No, it's probably not. No, in some bay somewhere waiting to get checked in. Who knows? But uh, anyways, it allowed me to get all this other stuff. So the next place I went to was OPT. And OPT, another good company. I've been using them for years. I've contacted them. Gave me some great advice. And um, so, like I said, I, I feel really comfortable ordering from them. So I ordered the ZWO EAF, the automatic focuser with them. And I ordered the special bracket for the EAF going to a uh, Celestron Edge 8. Because before you couldn't mount it to it, but now they got this bracket that uh, uh, works really well. And I also ordered a brand new IDAS NBZ filter. Uh, I've never ordered uh, this company's filter before, so this is going to be new. But it uh, it's good for... Uh, color camera and doing HA and uh, O3 with it. So that should be pretty interesting. So we'll see with that how that goes. And I ordered another SkyTech, StarTech, excuse me, uh, a powered USB hub. I have one on my other setup. Had great, um, it works great. And I ordered another one from Amazon. And it's got a metal casing around it, so it's much better than the other, those cheapo ones. I ordered a ZWO filter drawer. And I ordered this from another company, a smaller company, smaller outfit out of New York, uh, in New York City, called CCTS, Camera Concepts and Telescope Solutions. I've ordered a variety of things through that company over the years, and they're pretty good, so I like to give them a little bit of my business every once in a while. Now what about my camera? I mentioned color, a color filter. So I ordered a brand new ZWO uh, ASI 294 MC Pro. Oh boy, this thing, I, I tried hooking it up and it works and boy, it looks, it looks really good. I can't wait to use this thing. So, and I ordered this. And I ordered a dub, two dovetail brackets. I ordered that from Agena Astro out in California. I've ordered from them as well over the years, and I've had pretty good luck with those guys too. So again, uh, all these companies I'm mentioning, I'm, I feel very comfortable about ordering. So at first, let me tell you why I got two dovetails. At first I bought this one. This is the full size one, and it's solid and I when I got it but uh, I was like wow this is really good it's you know you can put your uh, auto guiders and whatnot on here but this is big this is this is over a pound and a half so 
I think it's a little overkill. So what I did is I ordered the narrow dovetail, which is about half, less than half the weight, and I, it's solid too. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need this big one. So I might put that thing up for sale. Okay, the last thing, which is sitting over in the corner. Let me go over here. There we go. Now, for my auto guiding, I'm actually going to use my ASI 178, which I use for solar imaging. So I already have that. I didn't have to buy that. And I already have a short tube, my Orion old short tube, which is used for auto guiding. It's part of their fabulous auto guider setup that they used to sell, or they might still sell for all I know. For all I know. But what I did get was a way to mount it onto the dovetail. And this, th these clamps, I, I ordered these rings and clamps from ADM. I've heard of them, but I never reused them before. I never purchased anything from them. Boy, am I glad I did. Look at, look at the size of these bolts that come in here. Th th this, these things are solid. This is a really a, a high quality um, rings. Uh, I, I was very impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed with these. I, these are, I, I love these things. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but I think they're worth it. And they're actually right out, right over the border here in New York State. I had no idea they were so close, this ADM Corporation. Anyways, I ordered directly from them, and they just shipped it over for free, these, um, these rings. They got a whole a series of supplies. And if I want, I can order a different set of rings, smaller rings, if I want to go with a smaller guide scope, that'll mount up to these uh, these these clamps. So I'm, like I said, I'm very happy with these, with these rings. Can't wait to get to get, get to try everything out. Okay. My next step, I'm going to go connect everything up to see how it, uh, if it works. Oh, before I get to connect everything up, let me just show you, I purchased a new, well, a refurbished computer to run everything. I also highly recommend you get a labeler and label all your wires uh, when you're connecting everything up. So you know where they go. Well, hi everybody. So boy, is it really important to do all this because there's a problem. And I'll just tell you about that in a second. First off, I did test out all my equipment. The uh, my new camera works awesome. The EAF, the, foc the electronic focuser works real well. Uh, powered hub works real well. The guide scope works really well too. It works awesome. And here, as a matter of fact, let me show it to you. Uh, I'll show you the video of it. So this is the um, close runner. I'm probably not really, but it looks really cool. I, I saw it looks pretty cool. I've got it focused in on a tree. So that auto guider that I'm using is the ASI 178. That's my solar camera. Oh, and my, uh, my mount works. Everything works. It works through all my astronomy programs, uh, through SharpCap, Nina, and Astro Photography Tool. All works. Everything's Top notch. So what's the problem? Well, here we go. Let's see if we can just lower this thing. I'm gonna go out of my out of the field of view. So you'll notice here's all my gibberish out here. And uh, you'll see two Pegasus power boxes. This is the old this is the brand new one, which is disconnected, and this is the old one. So you'll, you're probably guessing already, so why do I have the old one connected up? Because the new one, something's wrong with it. It doesn't connect or not sure what the problem is. So I got my old one out and everything works perfect through that. Now I sent an email to High Point Scientific and to Pegasus in Greece. So I sent them both the same email and a half hour after I sent it, I got a response from Angelos from Pegasus in Greece, um, asking me what's wrong, and I told him the whole scenario. And he's been back and forth with me all afternoon, uh, back and forth, trying this, trying that, trying the other thing to see if we can get this thing to work. So I am very impressed with Pegasus. I mean, it's, I mean, within a half hour, that they get back to me right away, and they're helping me diagnose it from the manufacturer. So I'm very impressed with these guys. There's no resolution on it yet. I don't know what's going to come out of all this, but I think I'm going to send this this video out before I find a resolution. I'm sure you guys will hear of it eventually. Anyways, that's all I got for you. We'll see you later.